Yella Beezy has been having a rough couple of months. In today's video, we're giving you all the gist on his life, arrest, and charges. The Dallas rapper was arrested Thursday on sexual assault and weapons charges, authorities said. The 30-year-old rapper, whose real name is Marquise DeAndre Conway, was taken into custody by Plano police officers with the department's Crimes Against Persons Unit in Collin County, a police spokesman told Fox News. He was arrested on suspicion of sexual assault, child endangerment or abandonment, and unlawful carrying of a weapon. The arrest was originally for the sexual assault charge, Plano officer Andre Smith said. They went to effect the arrest, and circumstances surrounding that arrest led to the UCW and endangerment of a child, he said. However, further details about what led to the charges were not disclosed to the public. Fox News, in an attempt to gather information firsthand, has reached out to prosecutors and the rapper's management team. But he's facing three charges, felony sexual assault, felony abandoned endangered child, and misdemeanor unlawful carrying a weapon. The rapper is known for his mixtapes, Ain't No Going Back, and Back and Beasy, fully coming into the spotlight after he had been discovered. In 2018, Yella opened for Jay-Z and Beyonce when the couple performed at AT&T Stadium in the Dallas suburb of Arlington. In October of that year, he was shot three times while driving on a Texas freeway and hospitalized immensely after. The Dallas rapper, following his arrest, has reportedly posted bond and has been released from jail. Just over two months ago, Yella Beezy was arrested after he claims officers mistook his novelty hand sanitizer for the rapper was detained on drugs and weapons charges, and he later shared a video to social media where he detailed his experience, claiming that the authorities went above and beyond to take him into custody. As a Dallas artist tackles that case, it's been reported that on November 5th, Beezy has once again found himself in police custody. The rapper's third arrest this year reportedly occurred yesterday, but details regarding the circumstances surrounding his charges have yet to be shared publicly. According to several outlets, including TMZ and NBC5 News in Dallas-Fort Worth, BZ, real name Marquise Conway, was reportedly being held on charges of endangering a child, unlawful carrying a weapon, and an outstanding warrant for sexual assault. The rapper is reportedly being investigated by the Plano Police Crimes Against Persons Unit and was given a 50k bond for the sexual assault charge. BZ was said to have been released today, but the rapper nor his team have issued formal statements regarding his arrest or the charges against him. It's unclear when the initial incident related to these charges occurred, but Plano officer Andre Smith stated that Yellow Beezy's arrest was initially for the sexual assault charge. They went to effect the arrest, and circumstances surrounding that arrest led to the UCW and the endangering of a child, said Smith. No information about the charges was immediately available until much later. Conway was raised in the Oak Cliff neighborhood of Dallas. He's known for his mixtapes, Ain't No Going Back, and Back and Beezy. The rapper opened for Beyonce and Jay-Z in 2018 when the couple performed at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. In October 2018, the rapper was shot three times while driving on the Sam Rayburn Tollway in Louisville. He was hospitalized for more than a week. According to a report from TMZ on Friday, November 5th, the Dallas-bred rapper, born Marquise Conway, was taken into custody today on charges of felony sexual assault, felony abandoned endangered child, and misdemeanor unlawful carrying a weapon. The arrest occurred in McKinney, Texas, which is in Collin County within the Dallas-Fort Worth Arlington metropolitan area. A representative for the Collin County Sheriff's Office confirmed to XXL that BZ is in custody at that particular facility. However, the aforementioned charges cannot be confirmed, so the details surrounding the three offenses are unclear. The news arrives on the same day the Rhymers' partnership with Asylum Records and new song, I guess, was announced. This isn't Yellow Beezy's first run-in with the law within the last year. In August, Beezy was arrested in the Lone Star State and charged with possession of a controlled substance and unlawful carrying of a weapon. He reportedly had over 400 pounds of the controlled substance and five firearms, four handguns, and a rifle. Days later, after he was released, Yella Beezy said the arrest stems from mistaken identification as police supposedly mistook his hand sanitizer, which was presented in a cough medicine bottle, as a controlled substance such as codeine and promethazine hydrochloride cough syrup, also referred to as While on Instagram Live, Beezy revealed that the sanitizer was in a bottle listed as promethazine with hand sanitizer, but he claimed police thought his excuse was a cover-up and arrested him anyway. I went to jail and got arrested for hand sanitizer, not no drugs, bro. Let me tell you how desperate they are just to make an arrest. Like, the homie got a brand of hand sanitizer. Yellow Beezy added that the woman who created the product even tried to bring it to the jail where he was in custody as proof, but the police wouldn't budge. Months earlier, in February, the I Guess artist was arrested in his hometown and charged with gun possession. He was stopped by the Dallas Police Department on the evening of February 13th for running a stop sign and entering the highway from a private roadway or driveway. Once pulled over, law enforcement claimed to have some and searched the vehicle. While police did not find drugs, they did discover a firearm. Yellow Beezy was booked for unlawful carrying of a weapon and traffic infractions. He had a bond set at $1,000. XXL has reached out to the Collin County Sheriff's Office and a rep for Yellow Beezy for a comment. 
Yella Beezy was arrested Saturday on weapons charges, but the rapper says this was a setup. TMZ has learned. Law enforcement told TMZ that Yella Beezy was driving in Dallas when cops pulled him over after they claimed he was running stop signs. They searched his car, unclear why, and allegedly found an unlicensed weapon. Video surfaced online where you see a police car with flashing lights and a cop checking inside the black SUV's trunk. Yella Beezy's manager, Adrian Lowe Brown, told TMZ the rapper told him he was driving his armor-plated, bulletproof truck in his old neighborhood to get Valentine's Day flowers for his girlfriend when police stopped him and said he blew a stop sign. He says they told him they smell which he says was an excuse to search his car. Beezy says he doesn't smoke and didn't find any and didn't charge him for possession. As for the gun they found, Beezy's team says his entire arsenal is registered. The manager says he's currently trying to bail Beezy out. The manager says this is a case of harassment by cops. Yella Beezy is known for his songs like That's On Me, Back At It Again, Up One, and Going Through Some Things. According to the police report, Beezy was in possession of over 400 grams of a controlled substance, though it's unclear which drugs he's accused of possessing along with four handguns and a rifle. Yella Beezy is in police custody in Texas, where he's been arrested on weapon and drug charges. TMZ, however, learned that there was more to it than that. The rapper was facing multiple charges. The rapper was busted for possession of a controlled substance and unlawful carrying of a weapon, according to records. The drug charge is a felony, and the weapons charge is a misdemeanor. Yella Beezy posted a video on social media Tuesday night, appearing to show law enforcement searching the car. The video shows flashing red and blue lights, and cops digging into the trunk and passenger door of an SUV pulled off on the side of the road. He captioned the video, They stay f***ing with me. It's the second arrest for Yella Beezy in six months, as we first reported. He was busted on weapons charges in Dallas back in February, but he claimed it was a setup. On Friday, the rapper, who was previously open for Jay-Z and Beyonce, released a new single titled, I Guess, in conjunction with the music video for the song. The release of the single coincided with his announcement that he signed to Asylum Records, he told Complex. It's not clear if BZ has retained an attorney to speak on his behalf. A rep for Asylum Records did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. This is reportedly the third time that BZ has been arrested this year. In February, he was arrested for a misdemeanor charge of unlawful carrying of a weapon in Dallas after police performed a traffic stop and found five firearms in his SUV, according to the Dallas Morning News. The newspaper reports that this case is still pending. He was also arrested in August on a drug and weapons charge, though it's not clear if that case is still active, the newspaper wrote. In 2018, Beezy was shot multiple times while inside a car, driving on the Sam Rayburn Tollway in Louisville, CBS Dallas previously reported. Police told the news station that more than a dozen shots were fired, and Beezy was hospitalized for his injuries. Conway was arrested in February on a misdemeanor charge of unlawful carrying of a weapon after Dallas police performed a traffic stop and found five guns in the SUV that Conway was driving. Police said he's a documented gang member and not allowed to have handguns in his car. That case is still pending, according to court records. Conway was also arrested in August by Allen police on drug and weapons charges. It was unclear Friday whether those cases were still active. The 29-year-old rapper has released five albums since 2019, including Light Work, Back and Beezy, and Broke Nights, Rich Days. As of 2021, Celebrity Net Worth estimates that Yellow Beezy's net worth is $2 million. His earnings have come from his career as a musician. His 2018 mixtape, Ain't No Going Back, reached number 24 on the Billboard 200 chart, and the following year, Back and Beezy reached number 27. Throughout his career, he has collaborated with Quavo, Gucci Mane, 2 Chainz, and Rich the Kid. He's best known for his singles, including That's All Me. Yellow Beezy was born in Dallas, Texas. He was a gang member during his teenage years and began rapping and writing lyrics at 13 years old. Yella Beezy was shot in 2018 and hospitalized. He released his debut mixtape, Oak Cliff America Volume 1, Broke Nights, Rich Days, in 2017, and also released the mixtape, Life Work, Volume 2, the same year. Yella Beezy released the mixtape, Ain't No Going Back, in 2018, which reached number 24 on the Billboard 200 chart. His mixtape, Back and Beezy, was released in 2019 and reached number 27 on the Billboard 200. Yella Beezy's single, That's On Me, Solo or with 2 Chains, T.I., Rich the Kid, Jeezy, Boozy Badass, and Trap Boy Freddy reached number 56 on a Billboard Hot 100 chart. His single, Back At It Again, with Quavo and Gucci Mane, reached number 78 on the Billboard Hot 100. Conway was raised in the Oak Cliff neighborhood of Dallas, Texas. When Conway was 12, his father was murdered at their home in Oak Cliff on Mother's Day. I said at least about a year or two, I didn't even sleep in my bed. I thought somebody was finna, cause we didn't know who did it. And you know, a child, you not knowing like what's going on, what's finna happen. I'm thinking somebody gonna come and shoot in my window or something. Throughout his childhood, he played basketball and football, and his original aspiration was to become a professional football player. Conway became a crip during his teenage years and was selling drugs to support his family. He was often kicked out of school for fighting and ended up dropping out of high school without his diploma. As a boy, Yellow Beezy was influenced by Cash Money, Kevin Gates, and Boosie Badass. He began writing lyrics on his own at the age of nine and released his debut mixtape, 
Mash Mode Overload when he was 14. It took him a long time to prepare a second mixtape, Lil Yellow Mane, which was released in November 2012. His third mixtape, Light Work, featuring breakthrough hits like Trapping Designer and Going Through Some Things, was released via Press Play Entertainment Group in October 2016. This was quickly followed by his next tape, Broke Nights, Rich Days, in February 2017. However, it's the track That's On Me, the lead single from his mixtape, Light Work Volume 2, that made him a star overnight in late 2017, featuring guests like G$ Sign, Lil Ronnie, Sir Rec, Go Yayo, and Trap Boy Freddy. The song peaked at number 69 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and has been viewed 122 million times on YouTube. The remix video of this song, Up One, featuring Lil Baby, has viewed over 40 million times within a few months. Following such success, he got the opportunity to open for Jay-Z and Beyonce twice for the Arlington and Houston legs of their On The Run 2 tour. He subsequently performed That's On Me at the BET Hip Hop Awards in October 2018. He's currently working on music videos for his debut album, Ain't No Going Back, as an exclusive licensee of LA Reid's Hitco Entertainment. Conway began writing lyrics and rapping at the age of 13. He was inspired by artists such as Boosie Badass and Kevin Gate. At the age of 14, he released his first mixtape, Mash Mode Overload. In 2012, his second mixtape, Lil Yellow Mane, was released. Conway's first hit single came in 2015 with Trap and Designer off of his mixtape, Broke Nights, Rich Days. In 2017, Yellow Beezy released his mixtape, Light Work Volume 2. It featured the song That's On Me, which peaked at number 56 on the Billboard Hot 100, and also led to Yellow Beezy getting signed by Chris Turner, A&R, to LA Reid's label, Hitco. In 2018, the mixtape Ain't No Going Back was released. It included the hits What I Did, featuring Kevin Gates, Up One, featuring Lil Baby, and a remix version of That's On Me, featuring 2 Chains, T.I., and Boosie Badass. That same year, Yellow Beezy began earning fame from opening for Jay-Z and Beyonce in Dallas and Houston during the On The Run 2 tour. In 2019, the mixtape Back End Beezy was the first mixtape by Yellow Beezy that was released under his label Hitco. The mixtape featured the hit singles Back At It Again featuring Quavo and Gucci Mane and Restroom Occupied featuring Chris Brown. He was featured on Eritrean model Ruby Rose's single Hit Your Dance featuring NLE Choppa. 